bombed cities, millions of casualties, indescribable suffering. Hardly any other time was as dark as the bloody days of the Second World War. Thanks to numerous eyewitness reports and historical records, we now have an accurate picture of how the fierce battles took place back then. From the Wehrmacht attack on Poland, to the Battle of Stalingrad, to D-Day, to the brutal battle for Berlin, we know which incisive events between 1939 and 1945 formed the framework for this global conflict. So, while many of the details of those days have long been known, many undiscovered World War II-era secrets still lie dormant to this day. The 10 extraordinary finds that we will present to you in today's video also remained hidden from our view for many decades. Get ready for gigantic subterranean complexes, sparkling treasures, and an incredible find in the basement. Musashi The battleship Musashi was one of the largest, most heavily armored, and most heavily armed warships of all time. However, the enormous equipment could not save the floating fortress of the Japanese Navy from its literal sinking. After a heavy American air raid, the Musashi sank in the depths of the ocean on October 24, 1944. For many decades, the exact position of the 263-meter-long wreck was uncertain. But then in 2015, the American entrepreneur Paul Allen announced that he had tracked down the steel skeleton of the massive battleship. The co-founder of Microsoft explained on Twitter that the wreck is hidden at a depth of around 1,100 meters in the Sibuyan Sea. Allen, who died in 2018, published the corresponding recordings of the destroyed ship at the time. The completely destroyed center section of the Musashi indicates that a massive explosion occurred in the ammunition dump at the time. Irradiated Shipwreck for the American military, the end of the Second World War marked the start of some large-scale nuclear weapons tests. In order to test the effectiveness of this new bomb technology, it therefore needed the right targets, including the disused aircraft carrier USS Independence, which had previously been used in the Pacific War. However, the almost 190-meter-long ship presented itself as unexpectedly tough during the weapons tests. Although the USS Independence was not even half a mile away from the center of the detonation, the atomic bomb with an explosive force of 23 kilotons of TNT could not harm the floating giant. The aircraft carrier also withstood the subsequent test with the same explosive force without damage. After the highly radioactive ship was examined, it was eventually scuttled off the Farallon Islands near the coast of San Francisco. Since then, it has adorned the seabed together with almost 50,000 barrels of radioactive waste. Accident Bird a few years ago, when an Englishman was busy cleaning a disused chimney in his house in Surrey, he was amazed. Instead of ash and soot, he had just unearthed the mortal remains of a bird. The cryptic multi-layer message affixed to one of the bird's legs left no doubt that it was the skeleton of a World War II carrier pigeon. Unfortunately, the true contents of the encrypted message, which was never destined to reach its recipient, will probably forever remain an unsolved mystery. Since experts today do not have access to the codebooks used at the time, it is not possible to decipher the message. Hidden Nuclear Bunker a few years ago, filmmaker Andreas Solzer came across an intriguing account of American spies. The document, which dates from 1944, said the Nazis were working on a secret weapons project near the Austrian city of Linz. Around 70 years later, Solzer managed to track down the entrance to this hidden underground complex. The exciting discovery was made possible by special radiation tests that revealed unusually high levels of radioactivity in the region. More detailed investigations revealed that the facility had been built by forced laborers from the nearby mauthausen gusen concentration camp and even exported from other camps across Europe. Specifically, prisoners were handpicked for their special skills, whether as physicists, chemists, or engineers, to work on this subterranean project. At the time, the huge, approximately 75 hectare tunnel was probably connected to the underground B-8 Bergkristall aircraft factory. In that top secret production facility, the Nazis had manufactured their Messerschmitt ME-262 jet fighter, which was propagated as a wonder weapon. Many historians consider it likely that the recently discovered complex was the largest weapons facility in the Third Reich. 
According to Solzer's research in archives from Germany, Russia, and the United States, it's likely that the National Socialists also tried to develop a destructive atomic bomb there, though they did not succeed in their mission. Ultimately, local police tried to halt Solzer's archaeological work with the claim that he had not secured permission from the owner of the site. However, Solzer disputed the police and continued his important work. Members of the Jewish community declare Solzer's project as important to uncovering the historical truth and necessary action to honor the lives lost. I-400 class. With an impressive length of almost 122 meters, the Japanese I-400 submarines became the largest submarines of the Second World War. In fact, the representatives of this class were able to transport several aircrafts and cover enormous distances. Ultimately, however, only three of these massive U-cruisers were to be completed. At the end of the war, the floating fortresses were handed over to the American victors. After examining the submarines closely, the Americans decided to sink them all. This was to prevent the Soviets from getting a closer look at the I-400 class. One of the wrecks was accidentally rediscovered off the Hawaiian island of Oahu in August 2013. Surprising Jungle Discovery Exotic animals, flowering plants, old Japanese warplanes, the jungle world really has many different attractions to offer. And no, you didn't just hear me wrong. In fact, some time ago, the wreckage of a crashed G4M1 Betty bomber was recovered in the midst of sprouting jungle leaves. The machine was shot down during the war and then crashed on the small uninhabited island of Balalay in the Pacific. Many declare that this Betty constitutes one of the most impressive World War II wrecks in the world today. Pieces of one engine's cowling are still present and the flap remains affixed to the starboard wing. The Japanese symbol of Haino Meru, or Rising Sun, is incredibly preserved on both wings. The major damage to the plane is in the tail, which is missing, and also tree growth has caused slight damage to the plane's nose. Debris of a Miracle Weapon From the V-2 rocket to the super tank, during the last years of the war, the Nazis promised themselves the much-cited final victory by using their self-proclaimed miracle weapons. This included the so-called Messerschmitt Me-262 jet aircraft, which was produced between 1943 and 1945. However, on September 12, 1944, a German Luftwaffe pilot crashed his Me-262 near a small Dutch village. Fearing that the advanced technology could fall into enemy hands, the wreckage of the plane was quickly buried in a nearby bomb crater. The debris from the machine lay hidden there for more than 70 years before it was finally found again a few years ago. However, the plan to exhibit the wreck of the M262 in the Dutch Military Museum was quickly thwarted. Soon, some representatives of the Dutch army were on the mat and cashing in on the plane wreckage. The reason? There was no approval for the previously carried out excavations. Still, after more deliberation, the plane was fortunately returned to the museum, for the military decided that the military museum was the best place to showcase the legendary relic after all. Sunken Treasure of Silver Would the crew of the German submarine U-101 have sunk the Gersapa if they had known what valuable cargo was slumbering inside the British cargo ship? When the torpedo fired into the side of the Gersapa, in addition to tea and pig iron, Vast quantities of precious silver were found in the freighter's belly. So it was that the sparkling silver ingots sank together with the Garsapa to a sea depth of 4,700 meters. After all, it would take until 2011 before the wreck of the Garsapa could be rediscovered with the help of a remote-controlled submarine. At the same time, the rediscovered cargo is the largest known underwater treasure in history. According to records at the time, the Garsapa had loaded nearly 200 tons of silver bullion. This constitutes an extremely valuable cargo that is worth 36 million US dollars today. After the American treasure hunting company, Odyssey Marine Exploration, was awarded the right to salvage the wreck and be allowed to keep 80% of the silver treasure, the large-scale underwater treasure hunt began. In all, workers were able to haul 2,792 of the original 2,817 silver bars back to the surface. An impressive reclamation record indeed. Death in the Desert It's June 28, 1942, 
when 24-year-old pilot Dennis Copping steers his damaged P-40 Kitty Hawk to a British airfield in Egypt. However, the young man was never destined to reach his destination. For more than 70 years, the fate of the unlucky Brit remained unsolved. But then in 2012, the fighter plane was unexpectedly found in the middle of the Sahara Desert. The fact that the plane was still in incomparable condition and didn't get buried under the hot desert sand over time bordered on a miracle. It's very likely that Copping was forced to make an emergency landing at the time and initially survived the maneuver. At least that's what the makeshift awning that was erected near the P-40 Kitty Hawk suggests. In retrospect, it's believed that the desperate pilot eventually decided to march off on his own and perished in the desert. Dennis Copping's body has not yet been found, but Copping's body isn't the only thing to not make it home to Britain. Due to unrest in Egypt at the time and a poorly made deal with Egyptian authorities, the RAF never recovered the perfectly preserved Kitty Hawk. Most likely, it was torn apart for scrap metal by locals before being taken by the Egyptian military. Historians are highly critical of the RAF Museum for being naive in their deal with the Egyptian authorities during a time of political instability. Incredible Basement Find When something from our everyday life has had its day, we put it in our basement without further ado. While the objects we sort out are usually old clothes and dusty books, a few years ago, the police came across far more unusual objects in the basement of a Keel pensioner. Pistols, ammunitions, rifles, an anti-aircraft gun, and even a 40-ton tank. Yeah, we're wondering how big this guy's basement is too. The Bundeswehr experts, who were summoned, needed around nine hours to transport the massive combat vehicle out of the elderly gentleman's villa. Unbelievable but true, the court came to the conclusion that the old tank was not a weapon of war because the rolling gun was no longer suitable for a military conflict. It so happened that the pensioner was only given a suspended sentence for possessing machine guns and ammunition. In fact, everyone in town knew that the 84-year-old man had the tank and arms in his possession. It turned out to be pretty useful for civilian life, actually. A blizzard came through in the late 80s. The tank was used as a snowplow. Other neighbors report being helped with tree removal by the tank-driving old man. Still, after the court case, his possessions were taken away without compensation, as prescribed by the War Weapons Control Act. All right, folks, now your opinion matters. Which discovery from the time of the Second World War fascinated you the most? We're already looking forward to your comments. Please give us a thumbs up if you liked today's video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to never miss another post. Thanks for your interest, have a good one, and we'll see you next time.